Hey guys, so a lot of you did ask how I was getting my hair to look much fuller uh, than what it was and it takes a lot of work, I can tell you that much. I have had severe, severe hair fallout over the past two years and this isn't, this has happened to me before but you can tell my hair is very thin but just sitting here it doesn't look like it's tragically thin you know what I mean so I wanted to get out of the shower and show you exactly what I do and what I put in my hair so that I can get a little body out of it so I, I show you exactly what I do when I get out of the shower what I put in it where I got the items at um, if I can I will link it down below for you and uh, here's the video Hi guys, so I'm pretty sure I already did an intro to this video. A lot of you wanted to know what I have been doing to my hair to make it look a little bit thicker and fuller and I have been doing a lot to my hair. First of all, I, I cut a lot of my hair off so that it would just naturally look like it's supposed to be there, you know? Um, my hair is basically, this is all the hair that I have. It's very thin. I have a regrowth that comes to about, well, a little past my shoulder, but this is my old hair. And let me show you in the shower what I have lost just in the past three days. This, this much hair in the past three days. This is me going through my hair like this and then taking it off in the shower. And this is three days worth of my hair. This is not sustainable hair loss. And this has been happening like this for two years at least. So um, it's very, very appreciative of anybody who has left tips and people who have sent me items to use for my thinning hair. Now, the reason why I lost hair initially is two reasons. I had a baby three and a half years ago. Um, so I started losing hair about nine months after I had her was really severe. Like I would go like this and just have clumps of hair. And then it kind of started growing back. And then it started falling out again because I lost weight. And I have lost a total of 170 pounds. And my hair is just, it goes in cycles. Um, it grows back and then it starts falling out again. And I know it's starting to fall out when my hair gets very itchy right here along the, the front of the scalp and the nape of the neck. Uh, it gets extremely itchy and it'll get sore feeling. And that, that's when I know it's like falling out. Uh, right now, um, my hair is not thin. It's not thin where I can like see my scalp through my hair. It's, it's normal for me, but the old hair that I have right here, it's extremely thin. But a lot of you have noticed that it's looking much better and I agree, it, it does look much better. And I've had a couple of people send me some items that I want to share with you and I've been using for probably two, maybe even three months now. This is Purador Original Gold Label Anti-Hair Thinning Shampoo. And it has natural stuff in it. Purador. And this does smell like essential oil, so if you don't like that, you won't like it on your hair. And it also tingles. And there are other products that do tingle in your hair, and the tingling, those um, essences, they are meant to stimulate your hair growth. So that's why it tingles. And this one smells so good and I love putting it on. And you can put too much of it on because it soaks into your hair. It like becomes part of your hair, it feels like. This is deep moisturizing biotin conditioner. I also do take uh, full spectrum B vitamins. I take B12 shots. Um, I take everything that I can uh, multivitamin wise to regrow my hair and to you know, some, t some days I don't eat very much. I'll eat 800 calories or less. And I want to not start losing my hair because of that still. 
uh, just depends. Some days I eat a lot, some days I eat very little. So right when I come out of the shower, after using these, oh, and also because I bleach my hair blonde, um, I've bleached my hair for years and years and years. This is not the cause of my hair loss, I promise you. Um, I don't double dip in my hair, I only process it once. And I don't, I don't ever go over the, like this is blonde, I never touch this with the dye, ever. So, um, I, I do know that it's from hormones, from losing weight, it just happens from having a kid. It happens. Every kid that I've had, I've lost like 90% of my hair, it seems like, after having them. Anyway, so this is um, Fudge Professional. Highly, highly recommended this stuff. Um, I got sent this as well. Thank you so much for these because these have been, this is all I've been using. This is the conditioner. Um, I use this as well. I use this all the time and it's almost gone. I have a shampoo that I don't use and I will start using after the conditioner is gone. It, it is very purple, very purple. This is a light purple, but it'll still tone your hair down so that it's a nice blonde color. And this I put on like once every two weeks or so. It's a purple mask. Very good. It's called Bold Unique. Very, very good. I got sent this as well. Thank you so much. Super good. Okay, so I got this at Walmart. I don't know if they still sell it. I tried to find it um, not too long ago. This has lasted me probably um, almost a year. This is Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Weightless Healing Oil Treatment. I put this in my hair and you know what? I used to not put anything on my roots because I didn't want to make it dirty looking and I have to wash it all the time, but with thinning hair, your hair will get very greasy looking very quickly because you have less hair to soak up that oil, right? This does not, it's, it's exactly what it says it is. It is a weightless oil and it feels really good in my hair. I put it from root to tip all the way over and it, it has done wonders for my hair, really has. Now this I got at the Dollar Tree. It's called Perfect Purity Volumizing Mousse Maximum Hold. This is a dollar. This has been a game changer with like boosting my volume. And what I wanted to do was like boost the volume and I have to remember to put more of this on to smooth it out because this will make your hair look um, frizzy and damaged. So this smooths it out to make it look to where it looks pretty. This right here, I love the smell of it. It is called Blowout Solutions Shine Cream Ion. It smells like vanilla. Hadar loves the smell of it. Lightweight, enhances shine, provides heat protection, prevents frizz, adds softness. You don't use very much of this. I don't like using this all the time. It feels like it makes my hair greasy before it looks greasy, but I don't like the way it makes my hair feel. And I haven't noticed it do too much in the way of uh, hair processing when I run the flat iron over it. This right here. I got this free in an influencer box probably a year or two ago. And my mom has saved it for me since then. It's Pantene Pro-V in the shower foam conditioner. Daily moisture renewal conditioner. For fine, flat hair, light moisture, zero weight. And I use it like a mousse. However, it is a foam conditioner, and I believe you're supposed to wash it out. I do not. I use it after I get out of the shower. I use it just like the mousse. So I use this as the mousse and this as the mousse. And these two have been very helpful for making it look like I have more hair than what I do. And that is my hair update. So that's what I do with my hair. I'll just go ahead and do it now. I put probably a nickel size of this oil and I put it through my hands and this goes away very quickly in my hair. It does not feel oily in the hair, I promise. I mean, maybe if you use a lot, but. And I'm not scared to do my roots 
with this anymore because it does not make my hair oily. It just gives it some moisture and some shine and it doesn't feel bad in my hair. It's good to like massage your scalp so you can stimulate that growth. If you have weight loss hair issues or if you're losing your hair because you had a baby, unfortunately I had two of those things happen to me at the same time so it double deckered my hair really bad and I used to have really long and really thick hair when I was pregnant. However, when I'm pregnant, I always have thick hair. After I had my second son, my hair was very thick, um, but then I started losing, I, I lost the majority of my hair. It was really, really thin after that and see-through in the back. So I still have longish hair in the back. It's not so bad anymore because my hair is growing back and the other length, there's like two different lengths, here and here. It's raining outside in case you hear that. Okay, so now I'm going to put the mousse in and I put just a dollop. And that's more than enough for my entire head of hair. So I focus the majority of it where I want lift, which is in the front. And I do it on the roots and it has not had, I have not had an issue with like greasy or oily looking hair from this. It soaks in, it's very lightweight. I have never used this many products ever and I try to do, you know, stay on the healthy side of the products because I do have chemical sensitivities to a lot of things. Even if I don't, even if I'm not allergic to it right now, I become allergic to it and then it'll give my skin like uh, contact dermatitis where it'll feel like I have a sunburn very bad. So I have to be very careful and kind of try to rotate my products so that doesn't happen. Same with this, this is a foam and conditioner. Try not to use too much of this. It does not make my hair greasy. And then I just use it exactly the same, except I put more on the roots or the ends. <laughs> so that it's nice and, oh, it feels very soft, especially with all the, nice softening products that I use. So this actually coats your hair with a nice protective shield. I can definitely tell a difference when I use it and when I don't. And if I were to use this, which I don't feel like using it because I just wash my hair and it does make my hair feel dirty when I use it, I will just do from here down on that because it's really bad when you put it in your scalp. It feels really dirty. But this is this is probably good for other people and I love the smell of it. it smells really good. So I want to do an update on my skin. It's really frustrating. Um, this is about the fifth month that I have used Curology. And for one month, it might even be the sixth month, for one month I was doing super good and it was clear. And then I used Dior moisturizer which I got for free to for a trial it's a hundred and fifty five dollar moisturizer and they gave it to me for free to try out from Influencer and ever since then I have been getting boils on my face and cystic acne and um, the hormonal acne that I've always gotten this was gone, like virtually gone for a month. I had just a few specks here and there. And then I started getting like pimples where I don't normally get pimples, um, like on my, and then it, it just started like downhill from there, but I'm still using it and I'm still going to trust the process, but that is my update for right now. I'm still trusting the process because I was clear for a month and I, my face did look really good on in video and pictures it looked clear i felt confident i felt good about my face even without makeup right now my face is eh, okay with makeup but it's like it's it's the way it's always been and even now you can see like my hair is falling out that's not normal <laughs> to have your hair just fall out because you touched it so yeah uh that's just something that you have to live with if you expect to lose a lot of weight or if you just have a child. 
that's just something that you have to live with. Um, my cycle for my hair growth seems to be very quick. It'll grow and then it'll stop growing and then it'll fall out very quickly. Like within a month or two, it'll start falling out. I had some re-hair growth uh, up here. I can't see it right now. It's just a couple inches long. It's very fine hair, but yeah. So that's what I'm dealing with. It's not really a big deal. I have been through this before. I water fasted for 40 days. I lost most of my hair during that. You could see bald patches in my hair when I did that. This is when I first moved to Israel. I was very depressed and I said, I have nothing to lose. I'm going to water fast for 40 days. I'm gonna get my spirit right. Um, it was right after I had lost a pregnancy and I was severely depressed because everything in my life had changed and uh, then I started losing my hair but I also lost 40 pounds so in a month <laughs> 40 pounds in 40 days is what I lost basically um, felt great after that had a lot of spiritual healing a lot of spiritual healing had a lot of physical healing that fast actually healed me 100% of my fibroid tumors and my periods no longer hurt after that. I can go into a whole spiel about that because that was like the most amazing healing that I've ever had. I was able to, after that, have two pregnancies healthy, two term. I had Raphael and Abigail after that. So uh, very grateful for being in that low of a position where I had nothing to lose. Um, you know, good things do come out of bad situations sometimes. You have to always look for the positive. And it, that was a really bad time in my life, which resulted later on to being uh, some of the happiest times of my life because I went through that 40 days of healing and um, getting right with myself and my spirit and just emotions. And that was... I would love to do that again, however I do not have the correct facility to do that because I have to take care of my kids right now and they demand a lot of attention. So um, yeah, so this was just an update on my hair situation. Um, I wanted to give this update because a lot of people keep asking, what are you doing to your hair? What are you doing to your hair? Because it, it was looking so, so thin and so bad. My uh, friend did cut my bangs for me uh, several months ago, but the rest of this has just been literally hair fall. Literally hair fall. And as you can see, hair fall. Severe. So yeah, that was my update. Um, I have made a New Year's resolution and now it is April. And I am doing pretty good with most of my resolutions. I will make a video about that too update how our resolutions have gone. Right now we're in the middle of a quarantine. So uh, some of the things I can't do, but a lot of the things I have done and I'm, I'm feeling really good about it and I'm just hoping to keep it up, especially now that we have time together with the family and we can focus more on each other and things that we want to do together as a family at home, stay home, stay safe. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I should have comments on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have hair fallout, don't stress too much because stressing will make it worse. Uh, just go with the flow and do the best you can to make it look the best you can so you can feel the best you can. Okay? Uh, don't stress over it. It's, uh, yeah, beauty is only skin deep, isn't it? So if you're a good person, you're a nice person, that will radiate through. So don't stress too much. All right, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out last week's video and my other channels, Fully Living, Fully Cooked, and Fully Fun. Have a great day.